Hello and welcome to the farm in Richmond, Virginia. It's uh, about a thousand degrees humidity today and uh, not the most pleasant day to do this, but it needs to be done. And that is to repack the wheel bearings on my travel trailer, my Imagine, um, Grand Design Imagine 2150. Um, it's recommended to repack the bearings at uh, one year and or 10,000 miles. And uh, I'm over 10,000 miles and I think the travel trailer is around two years old. So it's time and I want to get it done before the next trips. Uh, one thing to note, if you're keeping track of your miles on your travel trailer, also make sure to count the, the mileage um, from when your travel trailer was manufactured, probably in Elkhart, Indiana, and driven to the dealership. For me, that was about 600 miles. So let's get started. I'll show you the tools and supplies we need. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to be able to take off the wheel. I've got my wrench and I've got an impact gun, a pneumatic gun I'm going to try to use. Um, got a got a wrench to take off the um, dust cover, standard screwdriver, got a hammer, two hammers, got a grease gun, I've got a bearing packer, um, a 2x4, um, a seal removal remover tool, I got my rear seals, I have my uh, wheel bearing grease, high temperature grease, and then to to lift the trailer, I've got a jack and two stands uh, for cleaning. Got some paper towels, and then around the corner, I've got some rags. Page says it, it, it recommends using the um, using the frame, so I'm going to use this point here to uh, to lift the trailer. I've already tried that; it seems to work okay. And then I'm going to use the frame up there, and then behind to um, use the jack stands to keep the trailer off the ground. So one of the reasons that uh, I'm doing this myself is because um, I got a quote from the dealer and the price to, um, to have them repack it was $400 I believe and so for a cost of well less than, than that I can buy the supplies and, and do it myself. Um, of course it's going to take me probably half a day to do that, several hours. just occurred to me that uh, um, I haven't loosened the lug nuts yet, so I need to do that while the trailer's still on the ground. Well, that was loud, but basically I'm gonna have to use this braking bar to loosen those. I'll use the, uh, now I can use the gun to release the rest of the tire. All right, it's pretty exciting to get the uh, to actually get the tire off. Just uh, giving a quick look at the tire itself. It looks really good. I'm gonna roll that over here along the fence to uh, not set it up against the trailer. So, so I'm about to get the uh, the dust cover off. I'm not really super happy about it. I the way I had seen it and the way everybody has taken them off is to take the uh, take a pair of pliers and to wedge it up and down and to get the cover off but mine were just super stuck on super hard and so I actually had to put a pair of pliers behind it and even now I mean it's moved a little bit and I, even now I can't can't really get it off with with that method so I'll just continue with the uh, Screwdriver and see if I can't. Yeah, that's gonna work, I guess. But anyway, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I moved it a little bit, and to be honest, it's still super hard to get off. Bam! It's off. See, I bent it a little bit. Mm, I like this though. This looks like it's uh. Looks a little more heavy duty. So. so, the next thing to do is to take off the cotter pin. Mm, I like this though. This looks like it's uh, looks a little more heavy duty. 
there. This is the, I guess, the castle nut, or just maybe a nut. And uh, hmm. this one wasn't tight at all, so that's interesting. Let's see if one should be tighter or not. So this should be the bearing right here, the outside bearing. And uh, to get it off, I'm supposed to uh, pull the whole uh, hub off. And they are pull the drum off so yep so it pulls right off and you can see the, uh, the bearing pops out and, uh, and while the, the grease on the outside looked, looked pretty good um, inside is the uh, is the seal and uh, the other uh, the other bearing so let me go ahead and uh, clean up this other bearing. Well, actually, I'll take the spindle and clean it up. Yeah, but I think the so far it looks, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So, what you can see here is the when you want to put extra grease in through here, this is where it comes out. I guess this glove didn't hold up very well. So I've got a uh, got a fancy tool. This is a seal remover and uh, Basically a crowbar, and you can just get underneath the bearing and uh, pop it up. I guess the good news here is that it doesn't uh, matter if it hurt the seal or not because we're replacing them. Oh, it does. It does want to not come up. So hopefully you got some of that on TV. Way. Here's the uh, bearing. Got some pink, pink stuff. Got some black stuff. And, uh, I think it looks again. It looks okay. Next up to uh, to actually pack the bearings and put them back together. So, and um, I believe I believe it goes this way. And you spin this on until it's tight. All right. Grease is off. And that's kind of how it's supposed to look, I believe. But uh, one YouTube video I had said, uh, gave an indication that uh, it had to have only use a proper seal piston or fuse but then when I went to the uh, uh, website itself um, they actually used a 2x4 so I want to use this 2x4 to put the uh, seal this back down and then we'll be ready to put this back on the uh, spindle the hammer this GoPro has been recording for hours now so hopefully this will still work Oh yeah, one thing that seems to have worked properly, kind of like that. Put a little grease on the spindle, which I'm going to do. Um, I think I actually saw someone use the word light. I wouldn't call this light, but it's something. So, and now I'm going to put the drum back on. It's literally hours later, not making much progress, but uh, um, my bearing packer, I wasn't happy with what it was doing. I sliced my fingers, I had a really bad cut on it. So I went back and I went to AutoZone and bought a, uh, a new one, and they have a plastic one. It's actually got a little hardier tips and stuff on it, so hopefully this bearing packer is going to do better. So I'm going to proceed. It may take me literally all day, um, several hours into the project. Um, three hours maybe and I don't have one tire done yet so there we go 
So the new bearing packer worked so well that I'm um, pretty happy about it. So the idea is that you push the grease, push all the old grease out, it goes through the uh, slots, which I think I have here. I'm super happy about that, got the drum, and um, what I'll do is uh, put the bearing back in, and uh, let me seal it, let me get the seal. There's the drum, take the bearing, the skinny guy goes through the middle, the skinny part of the bearing goes in the middle, it gets on there like that. Seal, put it on, and uh, got my hammer, my two by four, and we'll tap, 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 tap the new, the new seal on. That's pretty good. Put some grease around the spindle. See, I've stopped using gloves because uh, my gloves are just falling apart. So, they weren't really doing me much good. Yep. Go inside, goes in. So bearing in, washer on, now put the nut back on. All the instructions have a, and when I took this off, it was it wasn't super tight. So all the instructions had a, had to back off the back off the nut a quarter of an inch. So back it off a little bit. all the supplies I have so I must have put all the parts back together. That one actually sounds really good too. I guess I didn't look at these too much. Let's see back on. I think I'm able to put this on like I need this. I may actually get one done tire done today. This I think is literally back together. I think the other positive about the, the process was is that the tires look in really good shape. I'm pretty happy about that. The wear seems they seem to be wearing very well. So we go. So I may have mentioned before I don't have a torque wrench to put the proper uh, put the proper torque on these uh, on these nut lug nuts, and so what I'm going to do today is treat it like I did when I was a kid, which was we just tighten it down hard, and then I'm going to uh, check with my dad to see if he has a torque wrench, or I'm going to go buy one eventually. So. So it's uh, 1.30 and uh, I think I've been out here since 9 this morning or been working since 9. Took an errand to AutoZone to get a new um, bearing packer. And I think, I think this is it. I doubt this, <laughs> doubt that I published this or maybe I will because it's, a, it's awful and I uh, did a poor job. And um, anyway, but I think it's completed. I think it's completed successfully on the driver's side. And now on to, I have another half to go and I have some repair I need to do over there in the wheel well, so it's gonna take even longer. So there you go, take care.